All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing your second Q&A for this week leading up to The Walking Dead Season 7 Episode 12. Say yes. First question for this one is going to be do we think Sherry is going to join the survivors? And spoiler warning if you guys have not seen episode 11 yet. So I, I like this one. I think this is a really good uh, question or prediction, at least, to start with to discuss. It's from Dante Taj, who says, Q&A Trev, do you think Sherry will take the place of Dwight in the comics and join Rick and the survivors? So uh, I do think this is interesting because we don't know really what they're going to do with Sherry. She's kind of disappeared from the... Um, the saviors and we don't really know where she's going to go we know she hasn't gone home to her old uh, home uh, where her and Dwight used to live and we really don't know what's going on with her where uh, where she would go where she knows of you know how much information or how much she knows about the other communities that are out there does she know about the hilltop does she know about the kingdom uh, would she just try to get the hell out of there would she try to go to Alexandria um, you know, what is she going to do? What's going to happen with her? I like the idea that maybe she could run into Daryl, you know, because Daryl's kind of headed out on his uh, own as well, and the time could sync up where maybe she uh, runs into him somewhere. Um, also, because she helped Daryl escape, so it's not like Daryl can be mad at her if, she, if he confronts her. She'll be like, well, I helped you escape. I, I, let, you, I let you go. I let you free. So um, he can't be mad at her from that regard, and it could be kind of an interesting uh, meetup or, or join type of opportunity. I would really like to see that. You know, this season for me, uh, it's going a lot different from how uh, I thought it would, but... This could be a pretty good development if that's what they do with her by the end of the season. That said, you know, there's a lot of characters that are kind of in and around missing and, and a lot of different stuff happening in the show. And, uh, you know, have all the different groups and communities. And we only have five episodes left of this uh, this season. We have uh, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So as such, you know, do we think we'll see Sherry before the end of the season? I would think so. Um, and I do think if, if she's not going to disappear, then she would have to join the survivors. And I would like to see that. That's going to be a huge difference from the comic book version of the character and uh, the direction she kind of goes in. So I would really like to see that. And I hope that's what they do and kind of turn her into possibly a, a good guy type character would be really good. Um, that said, I mean, is there any indication for sure that we will see that? There isn't. Uh, so far as I know. So, I mean, she could just kind of disappear like a Heath type thing and then come in maybe later. Um, we'll have to see. But I would really like to see them do that with her and have her kind of join the survivors and kind of get set up for uh, All Out War, which is taking its time to get here. And part of why, um, as I've been kind of defending my score for the review, because a lot of people are used to me giving, you know, usually higher uh, review scores. Um, you know, part of the episode is like, we only have like six episodes left before that episode to this season. Now it's going to be five episodes left I feel like they've really stretched out this story for The Walking Dead for this part and I think it's kind of obvious with episode 11 like they they spend a lot of time at the uh, the sanctuary and totally focused on Eugene and, and Dwight and Negan and Sherry and all that and it's kind of like was it really necessary we kind of already saw the cell earlier where they focused more on Dwight we had a good idea of who he was we had some time with Negan already lots of time with him uh, from that perspective so you know, I, I don't know. It just kind of feels like they're kind of doing that on purpose to pace out the season, um, which isn't really something that they used to do as much. There's some seasons where they kind of do that. Season four seems like they're doing that a lot, where you have the second half with characters wandering around and it really paces it out. So I guess sometimes we have to have seasons like that where they really pace things out. Uh, this season for me, it just felt like, um, you know, are we going to get to all-out war before the end of the year? At, with this pacing, it almost seems like no, especially when you look at episode 12 and uh, you have like the carnival and stuff and rick and michonne and those scenes it's kind of like do we really need to see all this kind of stuff could we kind of skip over this and get to the to the meat and potatoes of it um you know getting a little bit uh Getting a little bit frustrated with the pacing, I suppose. Uh, as sometimes that happens this time of the year because, you know, they're filling it out. They're filling out this season episodes. It'll get better near the end. Uh, but season six of second half didn't have this problem at all, I want to say. So uh, will, will Sherry join the survivors? I hope so. I would like to see it. Um, if they go based on the comics, no. But I don't know how they would kind of work her back into being a savior again either. And I don't know how they would work Dwight into joining the survivors at this time. Some people think uh, that Dwight was actually, uh, did that on purpose and um, you know kind of uh, threw the doctor under the bus to weaken the uh, saviors because he's going to turn on them 
I don't know. Maybe, but we haven't really seen an indication of that. And he knows the doctor's a good man, so that's um, you know that's that's pretty tough to do. Right now, it seems to me like he's just trying to save his own skin from what we've seen of the characters so far. Um, Raphael Tremblay says, uh, since Dr. Carson died, Dr. Smarty Pants got to upgrade to the only sanctuary doctor. Congratulations, Eugene. So um, he's not a medical doctor, and people mention this in the comments, right? But uh, he does have the kind of idea that he can do anything because he's that smart. Uh, he is that smart that I think he could probably help with, you know, uh, some things. I wouldn't expect for him to be doing a surgery himself or anything. But, um, you know, I mean, he's... Obviously, better than not having any at all would be having Eugene because he is really intelligent and he can, you know, maybe with medication and stuff, he'd be pretty good because um, he seems like somebody who's, you know, really smart with that and, and could handle that. I still don't know 100%, uh, you know, his level of education in the TV series as, as it is. Um, he admitted that he's not a scientist. He kind of lies to Negan and that makes it sound like he's got a PhD, um, but really it's like, okay, well, what level is he? Is he like a high school teacher, which would be like a bachelor's, a little bit of an advanced bachelor's level? you know, uh, master's level or PhD level. I think he's kind of around bachelor's level, but he's somebody who's really practical with uh, things and just knows a lot about um different you know different things like chemicals and things like that so uh just science in general so uh cool stuff um but uh, yeah maybe it does weaken the uh, saviors a little bit since the uh, the doctor is uh, is dead and they're gonna have to try to get uh, the other doctor so we'll see how that goes but write your comments below on what you guys think uh, you'll we'll see with sherry what you want to see with sherry too uh do you do, would you like to see sherry join rick and the others in the group and daryl or maybe possibly have a relationship between her and daryl that could be something uh because she did free him so there's some potential there I think for a good story. I hope they don't just let it go to waste and they actually use it with, with Sherry. Uh, Zaheer Meowt says, uh, Dwight must not be a fan of going to the doctor. First Denise and now this. <laughs> I like that one. Um, that's good. King Sniper says, um, just when you think Dwight is redeemable, they make you hate him again. I thought this episode was going to be the one that starts to turn Dwight around and make you see uh, the good in him until he throws the doctor under the bus. I think they are making us hate him so that when Daryl finally gets his chance to take him out, the audience will be happy and won't care. So if that's what happens, then I agree with you. I really don't know what they're doing because they've been sticking to the comics so closely that this episode is in violation of the direction that Dwight needs to go if he wants to be his comic version, I think. And if they try to make him his comic version now, I'm going to feel like it's just pretty sloppy because I'm going to be like, that just doesn't seem right. Unless, like people said, maybe he set the doctor up because he wanted to weaken the saviors because he knows he's going to turn on him. I don't know, man. You know, that's that's pretty tough. To me, it just seems like he's saving himself. Uh, do you think we'll ever see Sherry again, J.D. said? And yeah, I think so, J.D. Um, but, you know, when you look at it, too, a lot of the uh, the cast are taking on other roles from other shows, and she is, too. Um, the actress who plays her, she's got another role, too, in another series. It's just there's so many different locations. There's so many characters right now. And the way they're doing the season where they're bottling up to Sanctuary or Alexandria and, and what's happening with them. And then, you know, there's very few episodes where you're getting to see a lot of the world, which uh, I think does hurt the show a bit. I, I think it's good to mix it up. And it kind of forces us to say, OK, let's say you want to do an episode of the, at the Sanctuary here. Well, what do you have? You have Eugene there. So you got to add in some stuff for him. Um, you got to, you know, add in more stuff for Dwight, and make more of a story there, even though a lot of that we've already seen and we kind of already know. You know, they kind of have to fill it out to fit the episode in one spot. And I do feel like that does kind of hurt the show when they do that because... You know, I like to see the different locations and what's happening uh, in, in similar episodes. Game of Thrones does a really good job of showing different locations in, in episodes so you get a real feel for them and uh, kind of skipping around a lot without it feeling disjointed. The Walking Dead hasn't been able yet to kind of figure that out. Maybe it's because of the runtime of the episodes. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, kind of the way they kind of just uh, center in focus on one location, uh, it, can, it can lead to some episodes that maybe people don't like if they don't like a location. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Laura Lee Adkins says, Just had a realization, Trev, the doctor kept talking about how nobody with a big heart could survive in Negan's world, that Sherry, Dwight's wife, had no place there, and that it was just as well that she was gone. Well, if you were playing a game of chess, 
and you were doing that sort of thing to take out Negan, would you take out a pawn or maybe a bishop or a knight first? The doctor's presence uh, presence made Negan stronger for two reasons. One, he was a doctor, but more importantly, he had uh, drank the Kool-Aid and was on board with Negan's rhetoric. Dwight is positioning to make Negan weaker, and he's being sneaky about it. So uh, this is kind of what I mentioned above, this kind of theory that he did it to weaken them. Um, I like the theory, but it doesn't seem, from his perspective, it doesn't seem like that makes sense because he doesn't know that Rick and the others are planning to uh, rebel against Negan. So it doesn't really seem to fit for me that he would that he would do that and, and kind of kill him in that fashion. It kind of seems more like he's just trying to save himself. At least for me, that's uh, that's what I that's the way I read it. Ben Hilligus says, uh, "What are you smoking, Trev? Uh, this episode was the best of this half. So <laughs> I guess to each their own. I certainly enjoyed episode ten and nine more than uh, than this one. Um, but you know, it's not a horrible episode. An average is six point five. I give this one a seven point five. You know, it's uh, it's above average. It's good. It's it's not terrible. But yeah, I didn't enjoy it as much as most of the episodes this season um, because I feel like we're starting to run out of time, and they're kind of they're not getting to what I want to see, which is I want to see a lot of war, which we all do, of course. Uh, Rat Fleas says, I know it's a weird question, but do you think the claimers from season four would have been able to fit in with the saviors? Um, so for Rat. Uh, yeah, they would have fit in perfectly, man. I mean, Joe and the Claimers, the, their group, uh, I mean, they even seem a lot like the uh, the Saviors. So they would definitely fit in well, you know, perfectly. Jacob uh, Johansson says, Hey, Trev, uh, why does Negan look so pissed when he knocks on Eugene's door, but then doesn't confront him about the pills? Uh, Negan must know about them, right? So that's a tough question, whether or not Negan knows. It's possible that it was kind of a test for Eugene to see what Eugene would do and to see whether or not Negan could trust him because Negan does, uh, you know, Negan does do testing like that. He did it with Daryl. He allowed Daryl to escape once, but it was a setup to see if he would try or if he would stay and, and be loyal. So it's possible that it was a test, but it seemed like from their acting, the way they were, the, the girls were portraying it, that it was legitimate and they actually did feel bad for Amber and, um, at first, when we find out that's not the case and Eugene reveals that, no, you wanted more of a dosage, so you're going to try to kill Negan, right? Um, they're like, uh, you know, they don't admit to it, but it doesn't seem like it's a setup. I'd say it doesn't seem 100% like it's a setup uh, to me. It's possible that it is, though, and Eugene is too smart to fall for that. Um, but, uh, yeah, he makes a good decision there. And, you know, you get some kind of uh, some politics in there and backstabbing and, and this kind of idea assassination. So uh, Eugene is going to be good at that game. He's going to be a master at that game. And I do kind of like, too, near the end of the episode, uh, how he's like, quite a bit more badass than what we're used to for Eugene and him being like, okay, I'm good at this. I can be useful here. You know, uh, I can play the game here and uh, be really, uh, really, really good at this. I can outsmart people and uh, figure out uh, how to do things here and, and make it work for myself. Um, which I do like. Jacob Bowen says, I love your channel, man. Do you think Dwight might change sides by the end of the season? To me, it seems like Dwight is being pushed more and more each episode to turn on Negan, even though it's taking a long time in the TV series. Thanks and peace, my man. Um, so again, it depends on how you read it. You read it as he's, he's pushed further away from Negan. I kind of read it as he was more there more loyal to Negan than anything else because again he was out on his own he had a bike and everything he really could have left and just never came back if he really wanted to be against Negan and to find Sherry and even if Negan found him he could say well I didn't find Sherry so I wasn't going to come back till I found her even if it took like a year or something so uh yeah man I mean that's the way I read it I guess it's uh you know it's uh, it's not that uh, clean to read right now um but uh, that's the way I see it uh last one will be from Brian Brian Atchim says um was it a bad decision for Negan to kill Dr. Carson? I mean, the only doctor in all communities is, only other doctor in all communities is Harlan Carson at the hilltop, and Maggie and the hilltop won't give him up without a fight, right? Uh, she needs him for the baby. So that's true that they wouldn't want to give up their doctor either. Gregory's not going to be happy with that, but it's not like he's going to have much of a choice. If Negan wants him, he can take him, and they won't really have a say in the matter or be able to stop him if he, if he really wants to do that, which he does. It, was it a bad decision to do 
do that? Absolutely it was a bad decision to do that, uh, to kill the doctor. I mean, even if you're going to punish him or whatever, um, maybe you just want to keep that one on ice, keep that one quiet, not let anyone know about it, and, uh, you know, beat up the doctor a little bit is probably all you need to do, um, you know, behind the scenes so everybody doesn't see, uh, rather than, you know, uh, burning him to death and, you know, like, uh, just throwing him into the furnace. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. It's, um, it's probably not a good idea to kill your doctor, even if, you, if you're doing it to set an example or punish him. Uh, it certainly would keep everybody in line, but at the same time, doctors are hard to come by and it's a zombie apocalypse. You're going to need them. So, uh, yeah, not a good idea. Uh, but maybe that was part of Dwight's master plan, as some of you guys think. Um, I just don't. I, I don't give him that much credit. Uh, if you guys like this video, please uh, thumb it up below. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, leave another question below for tomorrow's Q&A. And um, like I said, if you're new to the channel and want to subscribe, bottom left to subscribe, as usual. Uh, turn on notifications with the bell. That's it for this one. See you guys again tomorrow. Trav, say peace. Later, guys. See you tomorrow. You better subscribe.